Did I do an intro? I don't remember. Hey boys, welcome back. This again. I know that the day you're seeing this, it's after Halloween. I don't care, I'm gonna talk about something scary and spooky, kind of. This was always the time of year that my friends decided, hey, we're gonna go on adventures, guys. I don't know why, but my friend group has always just been interested in, like, urban exploration. Literally one of the main meeting points for our friend group was an abandoned house. We would just go there. I don't even remember why we first went there. Someone brought it up, and then by the end of the night, we were just like, all right, we're gonna go. So we just went there. I remember the first time we went there, we were all so goddamn terrified of everything. We had to be like 13, 14 years old, maybe 15. We were just a bunch of little pussies. We must have gone there 15 plus times. The fact that I don't know exactly how many times we went there should show you how often we went there. Like, I don't know how many times we went to a creepy ass abandoned house. And I remember the reason we stopped other than becoming adults. I talked about this in whatever Halloween video I made a few years ago. We see someone shining in a flashlight through the front window while we're in the room and we hear footsteps footsteps above us, someone walking around. So we got the hell out of there, and I don't think we've ever been back since. Another place that we went to a few times, again, in that Halloween video, I talked about like a church. I can't remember if it was the first or second time we went there. One of my friends stayed behind in the car because he was scared to go in, and apparently a car pulled into the parking lot, parked right next to him, and he had to duck and hide down. <laughs> Oh my god, I actually hit that. Holy shit, I'm the best goddamn player this game's ever seen. I don't remember how much of this I talked about in that video because I refuse to go back and watch it. Can I just get one game where I'm not going against people that act like this is the actual fucking Hunger Games and their life depends on it? Sorry, a more topical one. Where this is like the real fucking squid game and their life depends on winning this? I don't know if I mentioned this in the video either. The last time that we went there, we were all in the building, like all four of us, and there's like the windows that look out into the parking lot and a car pulled up, parked outside in the little lot, and all of us were just standing in the window staring at it so it must have looked horrifying for them I'm sure and then they drove away so we left and I think I did mention in the video when we were driving away we were going down the road and we passed the sheriff or something I don't fully remember it was a few years ago then the only other place that I really remember going was there's this house I can't even remember how we found it It had to be like near another one of our friends houses and it was just me Jake and our other friend Ryan Ryan drove us there because he parked three miles away and made us walk just down these barren country ass roads at like midnight we got there we were in the house for about 25 minutes the walk there was an hour and a half and then we had to walk back and jake and i were not fit couldn't do it we like collapsed i remember laying down in the road because it was so awful so ryan being the weird ass kid that he is managed to go back like he ran ahead of us or something because he's insane that kid's built out of like meth he ran back to wherever we parked like it had to be a, a few miles uphill both ways i remember telling my mom about that one for some reason my mom like encourages me and my friends to go abandoned places and like do urban exploration like have you ever had a moment in your life where you're like wow wait a minute my parents are kind of cool never expected that one i still want to go explore abandoned places that's not something that goes away as you get older maybe one day we'll go to a place and actually be murdered that'll be a great story to tell <laughs>